Welcome to Hari's Hobbies, the channel where we discuss the latest tech news and delve into the newest tech products. So today, we're taking a look at why GPU prices are dropping really slowly and where the future of GPU prices are heading. But before we get into that, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you guys would like to stay updated with the latest tech news related to gaming and PCs. So fortunately for us, the GPU prices have finally started to drop and GPUs are finally being offered for reasonable prices. However, at the same time, they have been dropping in price for many months. So why is that? For example, during the last four months, on average, the GTX 1060 6GB card only dropped $1 every single day. And the GTX 1070 is even worse. That card only dropped 50 cents every day over the past four months. The GTX 1080 for the last couple of months has been dropping on an average of $2 a day. Finally, the GTX 1080i has had the greatest luck. While at first it was $300 to $400 overpriced, it has been dropping at $4 to $5 every single day. So what about the red team? Are their prices doing any better? Well, unfortunately, for them, the same story applies. Their GPUs have been dropping at an average rate of about $1 to $2 over the past four months. So as it is clear, GPU prices are dropping at a very slow rate. So what could possibly be causing this? Well, let's take a look at all the issues that could be leading to this. A couple of months ago, everybody would simply point to miners and blame it on them. However, now the mining craze that was initially there has subsided and everyone who is still mining has moved on to ASICs or has completely quit mining altogether and sold their GPUs on Amazon or eBay. So mining isn't really affecting the scene anymore. So is it a stock issue? Are Nvidia and AMD not producing enough GPUs to meet the market demand? Well, not really. So what about RAM prices? RAM definitely has the potential to affect the GPU market and hold GPU prices from hitting MSRP. However, they would not cause GPU prices to drop at a slower rate. They may hold GPU prices back from hitting MSRP, but I really doubt that they would slow the rate down. For example, when the GTX 1070 and 1080 launched, it costed Nvidia and AMD about $40 to $50 to get 8GB of GDDR5 RAM. Now it costs them $100 to get that same RAM. So that is a $60 increase, but that would just lead to a simple $60 increase on the MSRP side as well. It wouldn't lead to a slower drop in prices. So overall, at this point, Everything that we have been blaming for the last couple of months for holding back GPU prices from hitting MSRP aren't really causing GPU prices to drop at a slower rate than normal. So what is the real reason that is causing this? Well, in my opinion, the real reason that GPU prices are dropping at such a slow rate is actually ourselves. The fact that many of us are willing to buy GPUs overpriced is what is actually influencing this slow downfall. And that is why the prices are falling at a faster rate for GPUs that are less often purchased, like the GTX 1080 and 1080 Ti. Because for those cards, there are less people willing to buy them, and as a result, retailers can't really sustain overpriced situations for very long. So as a result, retailers are more likely to bring the price down. So for cards like the GTX 1060 and 1070, however, there are a lot of people willing to buy those cards and there are a lot of people who are willing to pay inflated prices as well. And so for those cards, retailers are able to maintain inflated prices and still get a lot of sales and that is why those are dropping at a slower rate. Why would retailers lower their price when they are still selling really well at a higher price? This also explains the random price drops that occur for the GTX 1060 and 1070. It's not like the GTX 1060 is consistently dropping $1 every single day. This is what actually happens. The price of the GTX 1060 sees no fluctuation for around 10 to 15 days, and suddenly one day it drops 10 to $15. And this is because one retailer decides to go for more sales by lowering their price. And then all the other retailers catch up and then it goes to that price. And then that price maintains for a couple of weeks and the same thing happens again. And this is what we have been seeing with the GTX 1060 and 1070 for the last couple of months. And so this would perfectly explain it. So where is this leading to and will GPUs ever hit MSRP then? Well, there is the issue of RAM, but I think that GPUs will hit MSRP despite the RAM pricing situation right now. Because in November and December of last year, GPUs were at MSRP, 
However, the RAM pricing situation was pretty much just as bad. So obviously, the retailers are able to offer their GPUs for MSRP despite the RAM pricing situation that we are seeing right now. So in my opinion, our willingness to overpay for GPUs are actually what are holding GPUs back from MSRP. If you look at the GTX 1080 and 1080 Ti, well, the GTX 1080 is already well below MSRP at $550 and oftentimes even less. And the GTX 1080 Ti has been rapidly dropping and it is about to hit MSRP and it's only about $20 to $30 over MSRP right now. So for those cards that it is unsustainable to maintain inflated prices for retailers, those cards are going down at a faster rate and hitting MSRP. However, for the cards where retailers are able to maintain inflated prices and still sell really well, those cards are suffering from it. But that's just what I think. Feel free to comment down below why I'm wrong and what things I'm overseeing. So, how do you guys feel? For example, are you furious at the people who are buying GPUs for inflated prices, which is not only costing them extra money, but making the GPU situation worse for everyone? Or do you already have the GPU that you want and you could care less about this whole situation and you're just sitting at home laughing? Make sure to comment down below what you guys think because I do read all my comments and I'm curious as to what you guys think, so make sure to post your thoughts. Also, if you guys like this video, then make sure to drop a like and hit that subscribe button if you guys would like to see more videos just like this one. But until next time, bye.